Here are five things that I think that it will make you think twice before you're going to look into buying an automatic clutch as your first clutch for your first motorcycle. A recluse automatic clutch will make you an instant better rider. And that is a fact. It is quite possibly the best and the worst thing you will ever buy. Uh, here it is, $639 and you can become a much better rider. But there is a little bit of a catch and we need to talk about it. I am a recluse owner. I actually own this one. It is the manual clutch that Recluse offers and not to be confused with the automatic clutch. It's a huge difference. This one, it's a normal clutch for a normal motorcycle that you have to actuate by yourself, but it's made by Recluse. Going to the automatic, it does have a couple of tricks on the sleeves. I was not joking when I said that it would make you a better rider because it will, but there is a catch. When you're first gonna start riding, your biggest challenge will be using the clutch. The clutch on a motorcycle, it's not rocket science, but it's something that you have to learn how to use out of a reflex. Thinking about it, it won't help you very much. And all beginner riders will always have a huge challenge using the clutch. It will be a challenge in the beginning, not to stall your motorcycle or how to feather the clutch in tricky situations or to keep that motor into the power curve. You have to put a couple of hundreds of hours on a normal clutch before you could learn it to be second nature to you, where on automatic clutch, you basically skip all those steps. So from level one on a scale one to 10, all of a sudden you're a level four rider. The same way that I don't have talent to make a pretty bike uh, because I just don't have that talent, the same way some people don't have talent to ride a motorcycle. So an automatic clutch, seems to be the best option. But when you are getting used to the automatic clutch, you're missing on so many things. Yes, a manual clutch is hard to use and when you first started riding, you don't really feel it. But in time, you are going to learn how to use it. And once you learn how to use it, you are going to discover there are certain things that the automatic clutch cannot do, but the manual clutch can. When you don't have to use the clutch, you're not gonna learn how to use the clutch. The muscle memory in your hand will just not happen. And therefore, even though apparently you're jumping in skill level as soon as you're switching to a recluse, at the end of the day, you are going to become a stuck rider, stuck into the most uncomfortable position where you are good enough, but a lot of times you just cannot make it. Yes, the clutch might give you a little bit of a speed initially because you're gonna stall less, you're gonna be able to ride certain things in the wrong gear, but what's gonna happen in the long run is that you're not gonna learn that important skill of, for example, dumping the clutch. People that ride manual clutches know what I'm talking about. People that know how to master a manual clutch know exactly what I'm talking about. And people that are used to recluse clutches, they look at this video and they are absolutely clueless. An automatic clutch, even though it feels differently than a manual clutch, if you have the right skill, you could apply the same rules to it. But if you only learn how to ride an automatic clutch and all of a sudden you just feel better about yourself because you gain some speed by switching to one, you're gonna be left behind, left in the dust soon by all your friends and all the people you're riding with that are not using automatic clutches. Here are five things that I think that it will make you think twice before you're gonna look into buying an automatic clutch as your first clutch for your first motorcycle. Number one. Dumping the clutch. An automatic clutch has a short delay, and even if you have the proper skill and you know how to dump the clutch, it is something that responds a little bit later. It needs to engage to be able to be used. It grips differently and therefore it will make your life miserable. If you are used to a manual clutch and you're gonna go to a recluse automatic clutch, you will hate it. It will take you time, maybe to get used to it, but once you're used to a manual clutch, you will never ride an automatic clutch again. Number two, engine brake. It is so important for riding in a corner, turning the corner, going downhill. On an automatic clutch, you cannot stop your motor and ride your bike down the hill. 
you will have no engine brake. And a lot of times you need to put your right foot down and you just cannot keep it on the brake. Having the left hand on a manual clutch, you could easily lock the rear wheel enough to be able to give you an advantage. I caught myself riding recluse clutches before and this is one of the things that I felt I missed the most. If I stop the motor, I want to have something that I could hold the bike down. A manual clutch is very, very easy. You just leave the bike in the gear and then you just feather slowly the clutch and then release that rear wheel to work to your advantage. Where on the automatic clutch, if your motor stops, the clutch is disengaged and you have a whole lot of problems. Yes, you could use the right foot on a rear brake, but sometimes it's just not plausible. That's why you see a lot of people having an extra clutch for their finger or extra lever for their finger for the rear brake. And that's specifically designed to close a loophole that the automatic clutch has. Third reason for me is that once you are used to the recluse clutch, you are going to have to purchase it on every bike that you are going to buy from that point further. Sometimes you just wanna buy another bike and then every bike you're gonna buy from that point further will cost you an additional six, seven, eight hundred dollars. It is something that you are committing for the rest of your life. Number four reason is that I personally believe that once you are starting to ride a automatic clutch, you stop learning how to ride a motorcycle. It's almost like you gave up. This is as good as I'm ever gonna get and that's it. On a manual clutch, it always challenges you. And yes, it's hard in the beginning, but then you will be amazed to see all the things that you could learn how to do and discover how to do on a manual clutch that you didn't even think that it's possible before. From fiddling the clutch to dumping the clutch and lifting that front wheel to numerous things that people just discovered by using it or making a mistake that was a beneficial mistake. On an automatic clutch, you are going to just get lazy and yes, you'll be able to climb a hill in fifth gear or sixth gear and you're just gonna grind the plates at that point but it will just make you a lazy rider. And even though apparently gave you a boost of speed when you first get it, it will be a huge disadvantage in the long run. And the fifth reason is rebuilding it. An automatic clutch won't last as long as a manual clutch. It will need a rebuild every three, four, 500 hours, depends on which model you have and how often do you ride. You will also need more often oil changes because it slides and it slips a lot more. Also, it's more expensive to be rebuilt and it's more complicated. It also requires constant adjustment. A manual clutch, it is easy to be rebuilt. $30, you could get new plates and then there are six bolts or five bolts that hold it together. You take those uh, bolts out you put the plates in and you're good to go. So on the long run, you have to spend money for it and a lot more money to keep it running, a lot more often oil changes and other things like those. So what is the conclusion of this video? Um, if you wanna buy an automatic clutch, and a lot of people ask me the question in the comment section, yes, you can. And if you are an average or a beginner rider, it will give you an instant boost. But in time, if you learn how to use a manual clutch, it will increase your skill level tenfold. You're not gonna be stuck into that level five out of 10 for the rest of your riding career. You will be able to proceed to step number six, seven, eight, nine, level 10. You don't see an experienced or a pro rider often riding an automatic clutch. And if they do, they already went through the phases where they've learned how to use a normal clutch and therefore they could translate those skills to the automatic clutch. But very rarely you see somebody that does that. There are certain conditions where if you drop your bike and you're in a race, um, it's better to have your motor not stall, especially when you have a kickstart. So I've seen some riders using the automatic clutch on MX tracks, but it is not the norm on trail riding. Yes, there is a factor of convenience, but it's really for beginners and people that just started riding. Maybe even for the older folk that have a hand that is a little bit stiffer and they just don't have the right feel in it. To be very honest with you, I don't consider myself young. I'm 30, 43 years old and maybe I could do another four, five years before I'm actually gonna have to buy an automatic clutch. 
in my 50s and maybe my 60s, my hands won't respond to me as well. And the automatic clutch might be the best bet for me. But until then, I'm going to ride the manual clutch as long as I can because I really, really, really enjoy dumping it, fiddling it, and learning new tricks. Thanks for watching and let me know what you think at the bottom of this video. I'm very, very curious to see what you guys think about this. Vegas Romaniac, out.